Right. Yeah. So we were, uh, they were just giving us the energy. So the crowd was the source of your energy. Completely, night. indeed. Okay. And uh, how are you liking your stay here in Nepal? I know it's just, it's not even probably 24 hours, mm -hmm. but then still, how are you liking your stay here? So far, so good. It's great, actually. Even uh, planning to go out. Um, I uh, wanted to know about the right places and um, wanted to be a tourist as well. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, I can't just walk on streets right now. Uh, I'm going to snatch you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I just tried in the morning and the shopkeepers, they were all, you know, uh, outside the shops. But, uh, yeah, I'm planning to do a couple of things that I'm not going to tell on air. So. Okay. So, any crazy thing that happened last night, like in the show, did you meet, like, any of your craziest fans? Well, I, I believe you guys are pretty sober and <laughs> pretty nice and you guys are not that crazy. So, um, the fact that I really wanted to, uh, you know, uh, connect with the audience, I really wanted to come down to the stage and yeah. I wanted to, you know, meet the fans and everything. But unfortunately, there was this fan, she came and she hugged, so I, you know, there were a lot of people around, so that's why I couldn't do that. So I had to go back to the stage. So uh, it was she who came and hugged, but then there was rumors all around, okay, Atif came down the stage and you went and hugged the fan. No, 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 actually, I was just there. I was about to go uh, to the other side of the, um, of the audience and wanted to be there and wanted to actually meet all of them and shake hands with all of them at the front row especially but that's what really happened and i had to go back to the stage because she came and she she started running towards me so she hugged and that's why i had to go back on stage okay so Adif, you make beautiful music there's been no looking back since other mm. how do you make this kind of beautiful music what inspires you i didn't know that other other is going to be this big and i didn't even know that um you know, I will be here in Nepal and performing for these many people. It feels amazing and blessed. I feel blessed and sometimes I feel really responsible as well. Um, because, uh, you know, when you have respect, there's a certain amount of responsibility as well. Um, in terms of music, I believe I have my own world and I like to be in that world where there's no one else. We want to know Atif when he is off stage. What kind of a person is Atif Aslam when he is not performing on the stage? Well, he's a, he's a very normal person, a very funny guy. And uh, whatever people see on, uh, on the screen or, uh, you know, whatever they see in the videos, not like that at all. I'm acting at that point in time. But when I'm with my band, when I'm with my brothers, with my family, I'm completely only completely the opposite person of what they see on the screen. So let's uh, go back to your childhood runs. What kind of a child were you? How naughty were you or how shy were you? I used to win every game when I was a child and I remember that I hated uh, to lose actually. Um, I, I don't remember a single day where I was, uh, where I, you know, I never hung out with my friends. I was very naughty, uh, spoiled, I'm the youngest, so it goes without saying. Yes. Um, 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 I still remember my friends uh, telling me about my stories, about the cricket that, I, that we used to play, about the samosas that we used to eat at the school. And I used to come back, um, I belong to a middle class family, so um, I used to come by local vans and everything, so I, I cannot forget those moments where, uh, you know, they brought me to this stage. So you said you were a very mischievous child. So yeah. Can you share like some of the most naughtiest things that you've done with your friends or probably with your brothers? I stole, you know, I, I stole samosas, I believe. And um, yeah, other than that, uh, uh, we, were, we were in this uh, shop and I had to buy an Eid card for someone. I was, I believe, seven years old. This is not a good thing to do. <laughs> but yes, that's what I did. Um, other than that, I remember... Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, Maybe some pranks on your friends or your sisters? Well, um, we four brothers. We don't have a, I, I don't have a sister. Okay. Um, Probably girls from your school. 
There are a lot of them actually. I can't even. I can't even remember. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Besides that, uh, what uh, besides music? What are your other hobbies and your interests? I like cruising. I like um, I like biking. I have um, I have three to four bikes, and um, you know they all are very different. So I'm a rider basically. Um, I would like to uh, you know climb the mountains. I'm a rock climber, and uh, other than that, I'm a cricketer, and I'm just a very normal person at home. Ride them alone, or you want a friend behind you? Well, the thrill, thrill and speed. Well, the thrill and speed is just when you're alone. You don't want to risk anyone else's life. Okay. Yeah. So now let's come down to food. What kind of food do you like? Do you enjoy the most? Well, anything cooked by my mom. And uh, apart from that, I think I believe uh, I I really like Italian and Thai cuisine. So um, yeah. So do you cook yourself or not? I wish. <laughs> I wish. Um, I wish if I could do that. If I have to switch my career, I would love to cook. Okay. Have you tr ever tried cooking? Never, actually. Never. Okay. Like when you sit and think, okay, if given an opportunity, I would want to cook this kind of dish. Anything that you want to cook for your family? Good steaks. Mm -hmm. um, pastas, and anything that we have not tried before. Yeah. After that commercial work, you're still watching On the Road on Image Channel with me, Supriya, and today I'm in conversation with Mr. Adib Aslam. So, Adib, how has your musical journey been? Like, in, in short, if you have to define your journey. Well, um, as I said, that I, I always wanted to be a fast bowler, and um, I got selected for it. But uh, you know, I never thought that I'm going to be a singer or um, doing something related to art. Um, so, you know, it, it feels great. Um, it feels great because a lot of people want to be on that stage. They want to, they try to become you and they want to be you. So, it feels amazing and important as well. And there's a certain sense of responsibility at the same time uh, where, you, where you're guiding them. But um, I believe that I'm, I'm blessed, indeed. And recently you've also uh, started mentoring few participants from a reality show. So how hard is it to teach music? It's very hard actually. Um, I'm too small to teach music actually. Too small for this. Um, but uh, I, I believe that it's a great journey. I have learned a lot from them. And um, I have, uh, I think I've been through, the, been through a very different journey. I never thought that I would be able to meeting up different backgrounds, different people and different um, perspective of uh, music. So I learned a lot from them while teaching them. Um, and I support them because I think that we never got a chance. We never had anyone who supported us. So it's, it's high time that you know, we really need to appreciate these kids. Yeah. So like, if not a musician, what would, where would Atif Aslan be today? Flying in F-16. Yeah. Do you like flying? I love flying. Well, you've been, you've traveled around the world, you've traveled in many places. Which one has been your favorite destination? Well, not because that you guys are shooting right now, but I believe Nepal has taken the lead. Mm -hmm. Nepal so, has taken yeah. the lead, right? Which are the places that you want to visit the most in Nepal? Besides Mount Everest, <laughs> that is. Well, I, I barely know the places in here because we just got in here. Um, but um, I'll be interested in sightseeing, good coffee shops, meeting up different people, and uh, to know the culture about the culture of Nepal. Okay. Mm. So uh, you also do playback singing as well. Mm. Which actor do you think carries off your voice the best? 
Well, when I met all of them, um, they said, you know, your voice suits us the best. Everyone has a different point of view. So I really don't know. But like, if you have to choose one. I, I think uh, the song Tera Hone Laga it suited Ranbir quite well. Um, and uh, the other song, Bakhuda, Shahid was pretty good in it as well. And um, I don't know, I think they all are great. So is there anyone for whom you would like to play back, sing for? I see, okay, that was the question. Yeah. I see. Um, like someone for whom you've not sung for? Atif Aslam. Yeah. Wow. So yes, uh, after Bowl, we've not uh, heard any other news that Atif is going to come in movies. Mm -hmm. So do you have any plans in the future? Well, depending on the script actually, because uh, all I get uh, to hear is that there's a there's a love triangle. So you know, I'm not very really interested in, in those sort of films, the entertainment package. That's just the business mileage, and nothing else. Um, but yes, something uh, where we can contribute towards the society. So basically, like, uh, if you were to make a movie by yourself, produce it yourself, and probably mm. get a very good director, what, mm. what kind of story would you finalize and what kind of a character would you want to go?